edition of Major League Baseball. Game one here in the month of May between the Bomb Squad and the Raiders. Aaron Savali, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy comes into this start, man. Having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early. And this a swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he darn near started this thing off with a bang. Instead, it's a foul ball. First pitch, 7-11. Grounder down the line at third. Ramirez is there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Stepping in, Josh Labendera, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. Naquin is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Batting third. Coming the to the plate team. now, Jason hey, Donald. Dad. First chance for Donald. him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end. Number 41, the California-born right-hander is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Yeah, if you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Hey, thanks, Matty B. Hey, d -Row, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys, definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. Long throw. Got him. That is a terrific play. The designated hitter, Oscar. Mercado. Now to the plate, Oscar Mercado. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, Debro, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. One and O oh, the count. Now the pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. And inning in the books. So here's the cleanup hitter, Chad Roth, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Santana's got it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Coming to the plate now, Jordan Luplo, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. And very quickly here, there are two away now. Ready now, Jim Roth. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here it comes. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. 
And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, d of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Now a ball hits sharply toward third, and this one will bounce into the wall. Now a long throw to third, and he'll get in there safely at third. Second and third now with two gone. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. Stepping in now, Jake Saldana. Now this will rattle up against the wall. He pulls into second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Man, he was not messing around here. Sitting on the first pitch he saw and drove it to the outfield, bringing in both runners and putting himself into scoring position. It's great to see a guy that's aggressive at the plate when he's got a chance to do some damage. As a look, now the pitch. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Here comes the 0 1. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Saldana ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate. As it's now a 3 0 ball game. Now that the coach got. You. Right Into the there. box, Jacques Lemieux pitches a cold strike. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Santana is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Leading off for Texas. So digging in now, Fran Moraes. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's got it. And there's one down now. Stepping into the box, Jose Ramirez. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Here it comes. 0-2 oh now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. This is what a power pitcher will do. If he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. So here's Tyler Naquin. And he'll take a look at ball one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. To one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into right field, that's a base hit. That is 
Here's Carlos Santana now as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. He'll come in here at 263 four home runs and 17 RBIs down 0 2 maybe simplify the game plan right here get on the heater and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire. Digging in for his second at bat, Josh Labendera. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. Into the box now, Jason Donald. He flew out in his last at bat. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. In now, Chad Roth. As he sends it on the ground to first. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Jordan. Now at the plate, Jordan Luplo. And their runners at the corners now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. Well, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You think you make a decent pitch, ball hit to the hole right through there. You're hoping it can get knocked down. Instead, base hit, run batted in. Yeah, and as the batter right there, you're taking off your batting gloves, giving dabs to the first base coach. Glad that that found the hole right there. Ribeye steak, chalk one up. Now at the plate, number 22. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Line drive to left. Santana is there, and he'll make the... At the plate, Domingo Santana. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. In her third. Let go. It's a called strike. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And there's one away. Batting up. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Roberto Perez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 2. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. You just want to try and paint the corners. Reined in. And there's out number two. Now batter, the second baseman. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. In his career, Hernandez hits a little over the 270 mark. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high 1 and 2. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Now another one-two. Line hard. Just foul. Here he comes again, one-two. 
popped him up. Labendera waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. Striding forward now is the DH. Jake Saldana stands in here after doubling home two in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The batter, number 21. Into the box now, number 21. As he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now batting. Look up. Standing in now, Jacques Lemieux, lying down the left field line. But this will be foul. First and second here with nobody out. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this will get foul for strike two. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Ready once again, Josh Labendera. First pitch of the at-bat. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the runner is in from second. And the score is the runner from first. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Man, you can't hit it any better than that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high off the wall. Almost a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Adam Pletko answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. And that's through into left field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Donald rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores as they push their lead to eight now. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. Make it 9 nothing. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see there on the graphic, his total good for fifth best in the National League. To the plate now, Jim Roth. He's one for two in this one. Here's the 0-1. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung now that batter. middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put good wood on. So now to the plate, number 22. He swings and grounds it to short. There's one. Go to Santana, the double play, and that's how the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, stepping into the box, Oscar Mercado. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. 
fouled away. The next 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. So it was a swinging strike three. Oscar Mercado is now dealt back. with for the first Not out in top. the bottom of the inning. Francisco. Swing and a miss, 0-1. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Now the one and one pitch. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Oh and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. But it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Anytime the ball is hit that hard to deep center, you know it's going to be a tough play. The center fielder gives chase, but it ends up coming off the wall, and by that time, you knew it was going to be a triple. Fran Moreyes comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. One and one the count. Lindor stands at third with one gone in the inning. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Left side. On to first, and there were two down. Now battle. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. Runner in scoring position with two guns. He's set. Here it comes. Men on third with two down. Hit on the ground to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again, Jake Saldana. He singled his last time up. Jake Saldana. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted in the air out to center field. Nick one's under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batter. So striding number forward 21. now, number 21. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air to center field. Naquin is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Now batter. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jacques Lemieux He's coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. And he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Hit on a line and this one's into center field that's a base hit. Second base. Josh Labendera. At the plate now, Josh Labendera. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And he is in there at third safely, so there are runners at the corners with two away. Well, D roll, that looked like a pretty easy inning to start. All of a sudden, two outs and back to back singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on them. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases, or are you just trying to execute that next bit? You know what happens a lot of times, D roll, you lose concentration, you get the first. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. At the play, Tyler Naquin, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. In there, strike one.
Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. High and deep to straightaway right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now battle. Striding in, Carlos Santana comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And here's a fastball called for strike one. One out, nobody on. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one out double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. One ball, one strike, the count. Fouled off. One out and a runner on second base. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. And that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball, and it strikes him. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Chad Roth. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. I'm shocked this pitcher keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better. Just kind of A dive, and he knocks it down. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first, and there are two on to start the inning now. Into the box, Jim Roth. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. And the second run will score as well. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Drove that one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base. Hunter Wood gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in now, number 22, as he lifts it in the air to right field. All coming on hard as he makes the diving catch. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Taking another look at it, the ball has some topspin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. From the stretch. Liner in there for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball at D-Row right there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. At the plate, number 21. He's two for three and looking for more here. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. The tag gets one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now that so coming to the plate, Jacques Lemieux. He's one for four for the game. Number seven will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. He's running right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Number seven will stay in the ballgame as a new shortstop. 
at the plate. Cesar Hernandez. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's now taking full that, advantage of that. He's pounding the oh, zone God. with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And quickly, there are two away. Now that is so here's Francisco Lindor now. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. And he takes ball one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Cut fastball there as he manages to just foul this one away. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Digging in once again, Josh Labendera. He's doubled and number 52 is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Hit weekly back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The digging in, Jason Donald. He's two for four in the ball game. Number 32 will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Now that Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chad yeah. Roth. He'll swing Roth. it from the Anthony Pedroza. We'll get the call to pinch Anthony. hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Loves hitting left handed off for of right handed pitchers, hitting over 300 against right handed pitching. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. On to first, and can you believe it? A three. Anthony Pedroza stays in the ball game after pinch hitting as he'll take over at first base. Now at first base, number 40, Anthony And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. No hits and two trips to the plate for him in the ball game, and he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Standing in, Tyler Naquin. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. One ball, no strikes to count. One and one the count now. And the pitch. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. The one-two. Hammers it to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning.
Striding in once again, Jordan Luplo. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. The windup and the 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santana is there and he'll bring this one in. Now back. Ready for another chance. Jim yeah. Roth. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. Tyler Torrey will come on as a pinch hitter. Now coming into pinch hit. Tyler Torrey. Pulled toward right center field. Naquin's on his horse, and this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by, no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches, but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it, and that's just what he does. He jumped all over. Number 43 will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. This is pulled into right. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Wow, that's a baker's dozen. 13 runs right there, and they can't do anything wrong at the plate. I'm no expert, but I would have to bet that the manager would love to save some of those runs for the next game. Regardless, there's some happy men in that dugout. Runner goes for second. That's a strike to throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right, so he's 90 feet away now with two now men back. gone. Number 21. Now at the plate, number 21. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Andy Underwood will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at third. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive. In there. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. And this is pretty cool, guys. Not only is that his first big league hit, it's also his first major league RBI. Not a bad way to get your career started. Yeah, no doubt, Matty. He took care of the two first with one swing of the bat. So congrats to him on achieving something that's... And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. On its way, the 0-1 pitch lifted into the air to shallow center. Naquin's on the move. A dive, and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, Andy Underwood is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. Now in center field, number 35. So now Carlos Santana. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. I know the score's out of hand right here, but I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at-bat in any game 
ever. Nice piece of hitting right there. Staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. Domingo Santana is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. After falling down 0-2 on this. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. How about it? Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. In the right field, that's a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart after working seven plus, and he stands to be the winning pitcher in this one. And that's through a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the stop sign will smartly go up at third as they hold the second runner, and they'll again be loaded with still nobody out. To the plate now, Oscar Mercado. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far this season, Mercado comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. A ball and two strikes. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there one and two. A good idea but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Too much dip on the sinker laid off for a ball. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. The right fielder, number 32. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a slider down the middle but laid off. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0-2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. That misses one and two. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. And another foul ball. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Still only one out in the inning. Skied into straightaway right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. So it's two runs. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 52. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Number 52. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. And that is in the right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Now that 
Number 32. In now, number 32. Line drive to left. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. So now to the plate, Anthony Pedroza. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now that Striding into the box, Jordan Luplo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it with this guy's... Hit high and deep out there to left center field. And it's gone! Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now Tyler. Standing in now, Tyler Torrey. This is pulled into right. Reyes back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So striding in, number 43. He reached on a single in his first try. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line toward right center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking, we really avoided a worse fate. Into the box, number 28. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Dylan Lee will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Digging in now, Jose Ramirez. He's hitless coming into this at-bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. One and two now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Two for three with a double on his line so far. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. 17 to two in tonight's game. Fresno took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Number 41 earns win number seven on the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Aaron Savali allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.